Good morning and welcome as we gather for a few minutes to pray together. Normally, of course, on a Wednesday we'd be in church celebrating Holy Communion. For the time being we can't do that safely, so we take the chance to pray together wherever we are. I'd love to know what you think of this way of praying together. If people find it helpful, then we'll carry on doing it through the coming weeks. And I hope that you'll help find that it helps you to pray at other times as well. And I'll be using the service of prayer during the day, which is part of the Church of England's regular pattern of daily prayer and worship. It's one that I hope you can follow even if you don't have words in front of you. It only lasts about 10 minutes or so. But if you want to find it longer term, then you can find it in the church's book of daily prayer in a much shorter one called time to pray or given that you're watching this online i'd recommend using the app which is called time to pray which is available free of charge from the church of england and has all the words you need and also each day has um, an audio version of this service so you can join in with others praying it with you there are links to the app and to the text online um, in the live event. But now let's simply be still. And wherever you are, whatever's on your heart and mind, I invite you to bring that before God. Let's be still. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. With you, O God, is the well of life, and in your light shall we see light. Words of praise. Christ Jesus was revealed in the flesh and vindicated in the spirit. He was seen by angels and proclaimed among the nations, believed in throughout the world. He was taken up in glory. This will be made manifest at the proper time by the blessed and only Sovereign, who alone has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light. To the King of kings and Lord of lords be honour and eternal dominion. Amen. And words from Psalm 122. As I read these, then there's a response, and after each two or three verses I'll pause, and I'll try and give you the cue to come in with the words, How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. And so we say together, How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. Jerusalem built as a city that is at unity in itself. Thither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, as is decreed for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there are set the thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. O oh, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and tranquility within your palaces. For my kindred and companions' sake, I will pray that peace be with you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek to do you good. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. Let's pray. God of our pilgrimage, bring us with joy to the eternal city founded on the rock, and give to our earthly cities the peace that comes from above. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now a short reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. We do not proclaim ourselves we proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. 
For it is the God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In a moment I'm going to lead us through a short meditation. This is a chance simply to be still and to be aware of God's presence around us and within us. I'm going to use a very simple short meditation that I learned recently from um, a contemplative teacher called Thomas Bushlack um, online as so much as doing our learning at the moment. It takes that well-known phrase, be still and know that I am God. And what you'll find is that as we go through this reflection, I'll repeat a short phrase. I invite you then simply to let that sink in and not try and analyse the words, but rest with them and see what they do within you. So if you're happy to come along with this, then I invite you for a moment simply to close your eyes. And if you can, to sit comfortably but alert. It'll only be for a few minutes. And you might find that it helps simply to take your hands palm up and lay them on your lap. It's a sign of being ready to receive from God. A sign of openness. And for a moment, just sit and rest. And be conscious of your breath as you take a couple of short, not short, strong, deep, but not too deep breaths. Just comfortable. Just letting the rhythm of breath slow you down. Putting your feet flat on the floor, resting and alert. And these words are taken from a psalm. And when God says, be still and know that I am God, then he does it in the midst of conflict and a battle, if you read the full psalm. So in difficult times, we hear and accept these words. Be still and know that I am God. Simply let those words sink in and be aware of how they make you feel of what God might be saying to you through them. I'll say them again. Be still and know that I am God. And again. Accept and respond to these words. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know.
be still. Be Be still. Be still and know. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know that I am God. for a moment simply reflect on how you have felt through this time remember any moment of peace any insight any resolution Quietly in your heart, ask God to help you to be aware of his presence around you and within you through this day and through coming days. Turn to the words of the service. Jesus said, Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Let's pray. In a moment's quiet, we pray for our homes, our families, those dear to us, our neighbours, asking God's blessing upon them. your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all who grieve. In silence we commend to God those who departed this life surrounded by his love and we pray for those who mourn them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the health services and above all for New Cross Hospital, struggling at the moment, and for all community health care workers. We pray for our city's public health department as they seek to help us to slow and to stop the spread of the virus.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our whole community, asking God's blessing upon Wednesfield and beyond. We pray for our nation and for our world, for peace, blessing and end to the pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O good Jesus, word of the Father, and brightness of his glory, whom angels desire to behold, teach me to do your will, that, guided by your Spirit, I may come to that blessed city of everlasting day, where all are one in heart and mind, where there is safety and eternal peace, happiness and delight, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. And now we say the Lord's Prayer that Jesus taught us. I'll say it in the modern version, but if you're more comfortable with the traditional words, use those, please. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the light of Christ shine in all our hearts. Amen. Thank you for joining me in prayer. May God be with you today and always. I'll see you soon.